Hi guys, it's me Sonia and I'm back with another pro scrapbooking process video for you. This is for Off the Board, which we do uh, every, the last Wednesday of the month. Um, um, the theme was um, wines. I'm not a very good wine drinker, but I do love my piña coladas. So um, I am scrapping a picture of a piña colada. Um, as you see, I'm also using um, some of my items from my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of October. And the technique I'm using right here, I already jostled the, the background. And the technique I'm using right here is I'm just using that, that, that um, needle to fold um, the paper and make them into little circles folding paper which I'm going to use later on on in the layout yeah I'm, I wanted to put this piece on here I, it's the first time I ever do something like this I saw it in another video I can't remember who who was who did it but I wanted to try at least a little piece on the layout um, I'm going to mark where I want the gesso to be at because I'm going to add some mixed media to it. So I'm going to gesso the page and I just used um, regular gesso, clear gesso that I got from Amazon. Then I'm going to let that dry for a little bit, clean up my mess and here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the packaging technique. And I'm using some of my shimmers for this. So um, I wanted to include some of the colors of the one of the, the pineapple paper that I'm using, which is the pinks, the blues, the yellows, um, the green, very soft colors. And I'm only going to put it on one side of the paper of my background. That's the yellow ones and also green, yes, green. And this is very simple to do. It doesn't take that long. Um, now I saw that the pink was very light when it was dried, so I, I decided to add some more. And I believe that's cotton candy from um, Shimmer's Paints. I also added some more of the blue. And I think that's Blue Lagoon. And um, I just wanted it a little bit more, not so dark, but a little bit that you can see the colors. I'm gonna dry it with my heat gun because I'm impatient and I need to dry everything quick. <laughs> and now I'm gonna start placing all the items um, and I'm also gonna darken the blue a little bit more. But at first I'm gonna put, do some splatters of each color the blue the, the the pink next and then the yellow and the green these colors are very pastel so i like i like them a lot i think they go well with the background papers that i picked out i had a hard trouble picking what to to um scrap for the off the board because like i said i'm not a good wine drinker i don't drink wine i don't drink alcohol but i do once in a while get a pina colada with no rum and it's one of my favorites every time i go to a restaurant i order my pina colada so that's my favorite and i decided that yeah i'm gonna scrap the pina colada so here I'm looking for a stencil because I wanted to put some more texture on the background. So I found this picky boot in one that says my favorite, my very favorite, you see right there. So I thought that was perfect for this layout. And I'm using Bicky Booten's modeling paste. It is lovely, you have to get it. It's so smooth, easy to put on. I just love it. I love all she makes, everything that she makes. She's like, that's my number one um, person that does layouts and also all her or her 
items in her papers, all of that. I just love them. And the story collection is my favorite. So yeah, I stenciled and then I am going to put this to dry and I'm going to see or I'm going to dry it a little bit with the gun. I think, I'm not sure. But in the meantime, I'm going to mess with the other papers. I'm going to put some adhesive tape. Now this ruler right here, I just purchased them. They're from We Are Memory Keepers and they are to give texture to your paste when you rip them. And it brought three of them. And I love them because if you, you tear, you like to tear paper, you need some of these. Because they got so many different shapes to tear. You'll love them. So basically, I'm just, you know, putting everything together. Getting ready to just put it on the layout and see how it looks. So I'm taking off the adhesive here. And I am going to, I love this paper, by the way. This is a paper pad that I got from Walmart, but it has so many beautiful papers in it. I had to get it. Especially because it had flamingos, and those are my favorite. Any paper I find with flamingos, or anything I find with flamingos, I want. I just love them. They're pink. Who's not going to love pink? So here I'm struggling a little bit placing that other one in there. I think it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. I'm going to cut off the edges and see where I'm going to place my photo. I'm going to distress the photo. And I'm going to put some adhesive foam in the back of it. Yep. And I'm going to take this moment to tell you guys to visit all the ladies that are participating in the off the board series and check out what they 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 have done with their um wine theme there's that little piece that i rolled up it looks so cute i love it and i also have this um wood veneers that i found at the dollar tree they had pineapple on um, lemon and you know different types of wood veneers and i thought they were perfect for this layout so i pulled out some district oxides to color the color them in and you see right there i colored the pineapple and the green and the bottom of the pineapple and now i'm going to do the piece of orange and the lemon and then i'm going to go back to the pineapple and give it some highlights I'm also wanted to mention that if um, you like what you see in my in my layouts or my process video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed, and hit the bell button. You get notified every time I put up a video. Um, now we since we got everything situated where I want everything, I also pulled out those little other stickers that came from that Dollar Tree pineapple sticker sheet and. Now I am using these letters that I got this set from Tuesday morning. And I'm going to spell out my favorite drink. Actually, my favorite drink is Pina Colada. That's going to be the title. And I think the layout came out cute. I love it. I'm going to add this little umbrella on the top. Because I know they put little umbrellas in the drink. So I thought it was cool just to put it up there. Like it looks like it's coming out of the drink. I thought that was a little bit clever. In my little cherry. My lemon and my pineapple. And I have to put adhesive on everything. Because you know that nothing sticks to just so. So I have to put um, adhesive on everything. Sorry I'm off the screen right there. A little bit but there's hardly nothing down there but that sticker and I think I believe I put a little st sticker saying date to put the date and here I'm finishing up the title adding glue to every single one of them because none, nothing sticks to just so
And I'm going to add another sticker here, this lemon with these flowers. I thought it was cute and I wanted to put it somewhere and I think I find a spot for it right there. Yep, that's the spot. I'm going to glue down my picture. And I'm almost done. So once again, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the process. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you have. And I will see you guys in my next process video. I'll leave you with the end of the video and some close-up pictures. Thank you for watching. Bye!